Hello guys, good morning. Um, it's another day here in Puerto Princesa, Palawan. And as promised yesterday, sabi ko sa inyo, papakita ko yung Baywalk in the morning. So, ayan, dito tayo sa Baywalk. Ayan. So, um, let's go. Let's see kung anong, um, anong itsura niya in the morning. And, yun, napakaganda guys. Kasi napaka fresh. Ayan, tapos, um, wala pang araw. So, ang daming mga tao na nag-exercise na nagjogging, nagwo-walk-walk and punta tayo dito sa gilid ng dagat. Papakita ko sa inyo. So, ayan guys. Mukhang nakakita na ako ng restaurant na bukas na pwedeng pagkapihan. So, let's check kung kamusta ang kape at kung magkano naman. Ayan, ang pangalan ng restaurant is ito. Tingnan natin. Nakalagay dyan lato, lamang dagat, at kape. Ayan. So, let's go. So, dito na tayo sa coffee shop, guys. So, let's see. Ayan, kung anong pwedeng ma-order. Guys, more than around 90, 80 to 100 pound coffee. Ayan. So, okay, then. Ayan, tingnan natin yung panagin na yung anik ko yan. There. Ayan, ito naman yung breakfast. And siguro mag, mag breakfast ako before habang nagkakapit. So yun guys, labas ako kasi dito ako uupo sa love bus overlooking the sea. Now ito pala guys yung prices and the menu for the breakfast na yan. So 150, 140, and yan. So, so punta na tayo sa mesa na napili kong upuan. And this is it. Ayan. So bagay sa akin to. Overlooking the sea. Ayan. So, ayan na guys, yung coffee ko. Nainom ko na masarap siya in fairness. Um, ano talaga siya? Um, yung coffee na ginagamitan ng espresso machine. This is espresso. And this is latte. Tapos for only 100 lang. So, free water. Ayan. Hello guys! Nandito tayo sa ating second location for the day. Kung ayan o, nakikita nyo sa likod ko, it's Vietville. So I'll tell you about the history of this place. This used to be the um, place for the over 2,000 refugees from Vietnam in, in, in 1985. So, dito sila nakatira, mga Vietnamese 2,000 of them tapos in-establish tong place na to na tinawag na Vietville. So, pero, ngayon, parang siguro there are about four families na lang ang nandito. Pero, ito yung mga Vietnamese na nakapangasawa na ng mga Pinoy. Kasi, yung around 2,000 noon na pumunta dito as refugees, napunta na sila kung saan saan bansa. Like, US, Australia, Canada, ganon. So, ang nandito na lang is about four families na halo na kasi nag-asawa na sila ng mga Pinoy. So, um, I'll show you around. To yun guys, if you will see yang 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 part na yun sa likod, that's the that's the village, that's the Viet, Vietnamese village. So, may mga bahay and everything. Now, ang natitira na lang na tipinupuntahan na lang dito ng tao is etong Vietville restaurant. Um, this is actually owned now by a Filipino. Pero ang chef nila is from Vietnam. Nakinuha talaga nila doon to cook here in this restaurant and they are not a part of the refugees before so hindi lang ako makapunta doon sa um, parang village sa community kasi I guess hindi naman talaga for tourists so I'll just um, pan around para may idea kayo makita niyo yung place so eto yun guys um, may mga nakatira pa daw na mga um, Vietnamese dito 
Tapos, eto, parang, ewan ko kung church siya. So, eto, kung titingnan mo, Our Lady of Lavang Church. So, Vietville, Santa Lourdes, Palawan. Ayan yan, guys. Oh, ayan. So, very, very Vietnamese, di ba? Tapos, meron din dito ang parang signage. Tapos, pero hindi naman na masyadong makita. And then, there, ayan, may mga nakatira daw na mga Vietnamese dyan. So, here, yung makikita nyo, eto, eto yung Vietville Restaurant. Na eto na lang, kumbaga, yung standing, ano, I mean, yung sikat dito ngayon na pinupuntahan ng mga tao. Kasi parang, doon sa loob, hindi na siya part ng tourist something. So, this is the Vietville Restaurant. Bale, eto na lang yung remaining part of that history na buhay pa rin ngayon at pinupuntahan. So, I'll show you around guys. I'll, I'll show you the restaurant. So, ito yung entrance ng restaurant. And ay nakikita nyo Vietville Restaurant. And it, this is really far enough from the city. Around 30 minutes, I guess. So, ayan. Vietville Restaurant. So, pasok na tayo guys. Ito yun. Um, this is made of wood and bamboo. Tapos Ayan siya. And then, ito yung mga menus niya. Ayan. So, Vietville Restaurant. See the history, taste, the authenticity. So, I'll go around. Ito yung restaurant sa loob. Ayan, may mga tao sila dito. Sinasadya talaga nila to. Now, yung mga pumunta dito, may mga sasakyan kaming wala. So, ang problema namin is how will we going home. So, Ito yung itsura ng restaurant sa loob. And I have I have Miss Pepai and Miss Archie. And I'll show you the food later. So, ayan. Ito na muna for now. So, ito na guys ang aming mga order. Ito yung pan mi na pinahati namin sa tatlo. It's pork barbecue. Tapos, ito pala yung ano, yung ginger iced tea. Sorry, nabawas. Ay, sorry. Ito yung ginger iced tea nabawas. Ayan. Ito pa yung aming food. This is the fried spring rolls. At ito naman yung spicy seafood. So, ayan. Ito naman yung chicken pho namin. So, ayan. Ito naman yung spicy spay ribs. Ayan. All Vietnamese. So, ito na rin ang aming Vietnamese fried rice. So, guys, change of location naman. We're now here in Robinson's Place, Palawan. So, I'll just um, show you um, very quickly um, Robinson's Mall in Palawan. And there, because um, every time na pupunta ako, guys, sa mga lugar, um, gusto ko makita yung mall, like the SM and the Robinson's in that place. And compare it sa mismong Robinson sa Manila. Gusto kong makita kung ano pinagkaiba, kung ano nanadagdag. So, yun. So, ito siya, ito siya guys. Robinson's Place, Palawan. Pakita ko sa inyo yung loob mamaya. So, ito yun guys. Sa loob with a very high ceiling. Pero two floors lang siya. So, ayan. Tapos maliit lang pala siya. Kasi hanggang doon. Tapos dito. One side. And on the other side. So, para lang siyang kasing laki ng yung Robinson Small sa Boni. So, ayan. At least napakita ko sa inyo yung Robinsons dito sa Palawan. And parang kung ano naman din yung mga makikita mo sa um, Robinson sa Manila. Ganun din naman. Din. So, yeah. Ito naman guys, yung famous U Hotel here in Palawan. I believe there are only two U Hotels, one in Boracay and one here in Palawan. Yung U Hotel sa Boracay nakapag-buffet na ako doon. So, eto yon. And kung makikita nyo doon guys sa taas, that's the pool. Ayan. So there, papunta na kami guys ng SM. I'll show you SM as well. Okay, so nandito naman tayo guys sa SM. And as you can see, Ibang-iba yung itsura ng SM dito sa Palawan compared to other SM malls. Kasi yung SM malls is usually parang gray box lang siya. But this one is with brown panels na 
mas lalong parang isura siya ng Robinsons kesa sa SM so ayan so this is the entrance at tingnan natin guys kung anong meron sa loob guys mas maganda ang itsura ng SM dito sa Palawan kesa sa Robinson. So, ito parang nakaka-proper na mall. Parang may pagka-social kesa sa Robinson. So, sa Robinson parang isang grocery lang ang datingan. Ito naman may pagka um, shalalu. Ayan. So, so, there guys, that's my tour of Puerto Princesa City. And tomorrow, we'll be going to El Nido already. So, bali inikot na namin yung um, city today. Pumunta kami nga ng um, Vietnamese restaurant, sa Viet Village. And then we went to Robinson's. And then we went to SM. Unfortunately, um, nalobat na ako. So, I wasn't able to end the vlog there. So, um, I have uh, my vlog day one here in Prento Princesa. For those who were not able to watch it, you can check it in my um, videos. And this is the last video here in Puerto Princesa. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. And, and don't forget to subscribe, um, especially now that it's going to be a series of travel vlogs here in Palawan. Um, next will be in El Nido. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to like the videos. and. You can comment anything you want to say. It will be very appreciated. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, everyone. And God bless. Mwah, mwah.